Hi there, welcome back to this tutorial on JUnit. In this uh, video, let's look at a few advanced features in JUnit. Um, we'll look at a few scenarios uh, you'd encounter when you are writing JUnits and let's see how to write JUnits for them. The first thing that we would look at is uh, how to uh, compare errors. Uh, let's write a test to compare errors. So let's assume that uh, I'm the developer for the arrays.sort function and I'm writing the JUnits for it. So let's get started. Uh, I'm a lazy guy. Uh, I'm not creating a new class called arrays test or something of that kind. I'm just going to write something in here. But ideally, you should go ahead and actually create a new file called array test and create this test in there. So, okay, that warning out of the way. Now let's focus on what test we want to write. So we want to test arrays sort. Um, the first thing I would want to do test is just the basic functionality of sorting. So I want to pass in an uh, integer array, let's say int uh, numbers is equal to, I'll pass in in some random order 5, 6, 4, 2, 3, and 1. And let's call the arrays.sort uh, numbers. So now, uh, you would expect the numbers to be sorted after that. The expected output, let's just put it out. Expected output um, is uh, the sorted array. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So what does arrays.sort do? For who, do, who actually don't know the arrays.sort, it just basically sorts the numbers in ascending order. So that's basically what the expected output is. Now, the, I want to compare numbers with expected output. So I want to compare whether the expected output and the numbers have the same values. So how do we do that? Uh, one way I can do is loop around the errors and check whether individual elements are the same. Right. To save us, to help us, uh, JUnit has a utility method. The utility method is called assert. You can guess it. Assert array equals and I can pass in the expected output and numbers. So that's as simple as that. So run JUnit test passes. Let's say for namesake, uh, I'm just giving a different expected output. Let's say I just expect 9 to be the value. The test would fail and actually the good thing about JUnit, you can see, is it clearly points out where the test failed. So it says, Ls first deferred at element 4, expected 9, but was 5. So it's telling at the index 4 is where the first conflict occurred before between the errors. So instead of getting a 9, you're getting a 5. So that's uh, about how you can assert on errors. So asserting on errors is simple. Uh, the next thing which we can look at is how do you test exceptions? So your method is actually throwing an exception. How do you write a test for it? So let's look at that right now. Let's say void test arrays sort with null condition. Okay. So I'm creating an array uh, numbers, but I'll leave it at null. And I'll call arrays.sort. Now, any guesses on what the output should be? The output, if I run the test, would be, sorry, I want to pass in numbers, I can't sort null. So, any guesses on the output? It would throw an exception. So, you can see that it throws a null pointer exception. Uh, this is basically what the arrays.sort function is expected to do. So, if you are writing a test saying the assert when I pass in a null, assert dot sort should throw uh, numbers. Sorry, assert dot sort in a null array should throw an exception. The way it has to be written is using the expected. Expected is equal to null pointer exception. Be as specific as possible with the exception. So null pointer exception dot class. And let's run this test. And you'd see that the test would succeed. So this is how you write a test when you expect an exception to happen. In this scenario, we expect an exception from the code. Uh, let's 
see the scenario where I'm expecting an exception, but an ex uh, uh, exception is not thrown. So in this method, I'm expecting an exception to be thrown because I put expected is equal to null pointer exception, but I've made the numbers an empty error. So this would sort actually and does not throw an exception. So what happens? So if you look at it right now, it says language assertion error, expected exception, null pointer exception. So the test fails saying actually this method is expected to throw a null pointer exception, but it's not throwing. Go and look at what the method is doing. So that's basically how testing for an exception works. So uh, one more thing we'll look at uh, is how do you test performance. So let's say uh, my performance requirements for array salt is I should be able to salt a million arrays in 10 milliseconds. So let's say I'm writing a I'm writing some code to generate a million arrays so let's quickly write something i less than equal to zero 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 i hope i get the zeros right uh, now let's say i i want to do i'll create a numbers array with uh, i comma i minus one comma i plus one so it's not sorted it has to do some work so and i would call arrays dot sort numbers and let's say I want this test. Oops. Let's check what's wrong with this test. Okay. Sort performance. So uh, now let's try running uh, this test. It would succeed because we are not checking for anything. But what I actually want to test for is performance. So uh, the way to test for performance is let's say I'm expecting this to be run in. Uh, let's say 2 milliseconds. So I can put timeout is equal to 2. What JUnit does is if the code takes longer than 2 milliseconds to execute, it throws an exception out. It says test timed out after 2 milliseconds. So what I can do is go and fix ideally what should be doing, what I should be doing is going and fixing the code in rs.chart so that my requirement is satisfied. But just to show you a, a passing scenario, I'll just put 10 milliseconds and if you would see yeah even 10 milliseconds is not sufficient it's 100 sufficient okay, good. so that's basically how you test for performance so you can put a limit on how much time a test should take to execute and that's how you test the performance we are creating more videos as we speak and if you want to stay updated don't forget to click the subscribe button if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share this video. Thanks for watching. Until next time.